What's up YouTube family? It's Andrea here and we are about to go take care of a lice problem. All right, we told you the other day that uh, some of our cows have got lice problems, so we're gonna go out there and do just like we done with the milk cows, we're gonna spray them. But the only difference is, is we're not gonna get them up in the corral. Yes, sometimes, sometimes we have good ideas, don't we? I think this is gonna be one of them. I think this can be one, because it's not gonna stress them to get them up. And let me show you what we're gonna do. So we used to spray a lot. I'm sad and embarrassed to say that, but we used to spray a lot of poison. And so we have this sprayer. So we used to be the people that would go around everywhere to save time weed eating. I would spray around everything. Round up around the whole house, the fence rows, anything that couldn't be easily gotten with your riding mower, I just sprayed it. It's just so much faster and easier. But we have learned grass is not our enemy. And if everything doesn't look like a manicured country club, oh well, I'm okay with it. So uh, we don't really use that thing much anymore, but um, we are gonna use it today because what we are gonna do for the last treatment is a topical treatment. Uh, we showed it to you last week. And so we're not even gonna stress ourselves getting them up. I have bought a bunch of bags of feed. We're gonna give them a tree to feed line them up in a row and go down through there spraying them but before we head back there i gotta give y'all just a little peek of the back garden i'll give you a full garden tour in a couple days but i gotta show you all this work we've been doing look at that oh that's gonna save so much time and we've got things companion planted i can't wait to tell you what all's out there it is probably gonna be our best garden ever She loves her dad too. the most hilarious thing. Y'all are so funny. And Pepper is back here wanting to get off and play. Can't do that. Mm. All right, we've told y'all many, many times that this place is windy. I know y'all know that just by our mm. poor quality and sound mm. sometimes. <laughs> and we've even got a wind sock on our microphone, but we're actually gonna use the wind to our advantage. Right now the wind is blowing due south. We're gonna feed right here along the hot wire. And then I'm gonna drive along and I'm gonna spray and use the wind to carry some of that. Hey Josie. How you doing, boy? And there is the swollen face baby from yesterday. She's actually looking more perfect, perky. She is um up, moving around. She's still swollen, but she definitely her ears are perked up. That's a good sign. 
and when we come back here I always look for cows off by themselves like she is and I see a little bundle down on the ground so I'm pretty sure we got a new baby back there so yep. before we leave I'll take y'all down there see those are big pellets of feed those are called range cubes that's what they're literally made for is what what they sound like for the range for uh, feeding out when you're out away from a feeder but these cows are solely grass-fed cows except for the occasional like this treat of feed that we give them when we need to do something otherwise they don't get fed feed and so they're not used to this and they're not coming up especially because we're trying to spray them with something. So we're going to drive in there and do a drive-by spray. So this is the brand new baby. Gotta push it back in with his mom. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on baby. Come on. Back in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this is another one that escaped. Last thing we're doing while we're back here is we are putting out some um, high magnesium mineral. You'll hear this called high mag. That's what it's named and called the dark feed store, and that's what I hear a lot of people call it. Uh, it's literally a mineral that's designed for uh, especially early spring feeding of cow calf pairs. Um, and the reason is because when cows are producing milk, um, they are you they need a lot of magnesium that's the time that um, their magnesium gets the lowest in their body because um, they're using it to feed that calf and then also combine that with um, the early spring grasses that shoot up in abundance and lushness like you can see out here just tend to lend themselves to um, the cow's not having enough magnesium in their body and that can lead to a condition called grass tetany it goes by a lot of different names and uh, you can see your cow start acting pretty strange you can google the symptoms of that but it presents itself in several different ways and then um, it can ultimately kill your cows so one easy fix to that is in the spring when you're putting your minerals out make sure you're feeding high mag and that can also be a problem not only for cows but also for sheep any kind of ruminating animal um, and it's nothing to mess around with you're putting your money and time all into these animals you definitely don't want to um, just let something like magnesium get low and them lay down and die on you all right one crazy thing that happened off camera and we're about to wrap this up we got our jobs back here done we got to go do a couple garden chores at the house before we wrap this day up but we had brought pepper with us we're trying to bring her even though she's a puppy and it actually slows us down we're trying to train her and spend time with her but we had her on a leash uh, tied up at a safe distance so she could be around the cows but not get herself hurt chasing them and she it. demolished it um, we actually had a harness on her a couple of y'all have commented that we need a harness she actually was wearing a harness but she just pulled so hard on that thing she just snapped it um she's she's crazy strong that's all i gotta say and she really wants to play with the cows yeah, she really wanted to play. Uh, Lane took off. He's younger and faster than any of us. He almost caught her uh, by jumping and grabbing her, but she got away. But then it was all of a sudden like she she was only loose for about what? A minute. A minute. Maybe. And then it was like it 
we were calling her and telling her heel we're a long ways from the road thankfully but i mean she could run that far but it was like she snapped didn't she and yeah. she was like oop i'm supposed to listen they said heel and she came right to you yeah oh you, you, feel, you feel better you feel better girl <laughs> lane just gave her a drink out of the cow trough but um yeah she we didn't get on to her or anything because she actually did listen and come back so listened. that was good yeah that was a good girl but she is six months old now. And so I'm about to start doing some videos on training her. Um, I'm gonna take y'all along as this will be my first time to really train a dog, uh, like a, a full-fledged working cattle dog. So I tell her all the time though, she's gonna be a really awesome cowgirl, aren't ya? We're gonna be cowgirls hey, together. She, got, she probably licked some cow poop. Did you lick some cow poop? Did you lick some cow poop? <laughs> She does, we have to do a confession. Look at the camera and say, I like to eat cow poop. Say, I like it, I can't yeah, help it. She's embarrassing her. Are you embarrassed? Oh, I love you girl. All right, we're heading back to the house. All right, so this job is done. I think it was pretty successful. We had yes. a few cows that uh, they shied away and didn't want to come up, but I drove around on the mule and I think I about got everybody, if not everybody, so. I'm gonna call it a success. I think it's a success. We didn't stress nobody out. They got a little treat, so. Yeah, I think it was all in all a success. Took a lot less time. We're trying to think of ways to um, do things with the cows without always having to get them up because that's stressful for them and it takes a lot of time for us. So done, I'm going home to cross it off the list and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you hadn't subscribed, please do. Welcome to all you who are new. We are, we're so, tickled to have you here thanks tickled. you'll see tickled thanks for joining us and we'll see you later god bless